Hello everyone and welcome to Anthony's Career Advice. My name is Anthony and you guessed it, today I'm going to try to provide you with career advice. Today's topic is going to be skills identification. Now there's a number of different ways of being able to identify your skills, okay? So there are inventories, there are assessments, but today the focus is going to be on just highlighting about five key questions to ask yourself or possibly others to help you kind of gain a little bit of understanding and a framework around your skills sometimes referred to as your most transferable skills. Um, so let's get to it. Question one to start to think about when, when trying to assess or identify your own personal skills are, you know, we like to associate numbers with things. So what do you believe are your top three skills? It's also a question you get asked a lot in an interview. And just like at an interview, everything you say can and will be used against you. So if you identify three skills, make sure to provide a story for each. And for the purposes of your own reflection, the story is just for you. It's not for anybody else. Okay. A good way to use this question is also to understand how you're perceived in your, in your circle or in your world. So hand pick a few people, friends, family, colleagues, former colleagues, leaders, whoever it is that you're comfortable with or people that you feel know you well, better than maybe let's say an acquaintance. Ask them that question. What skill or skills do you believe I possess? And if you can, can you provide me some context? or at least an example of where I used that skill. You'd probably be surprised what you learn. One of two things, typically. Validation, which is great, or it opens you up to something different, which is even better, because that means there's something to look into. That's question one. The next one is, is, do you actually know the skills that you use regularly? If so, start listing them. Keep in mind, a lot of this is about work, but you don't have to limit yourself to the skills you feel that you use at work. It's an overall inventory. That's what you're trying to create. So that's the question too. Third one is, is, have you ever won any awards for anything? Think back, is there anything you received a certain level of praise? So maybe not an award. It could be as much as a, you know, thank you for a job well done. Something where you were praised. Reflect back on what you were, were praised for. Define the details of that example. You know, what is it that you did? What were you responsible for? Are you aware what the impact was? And then from there, you can kind of start to dissect what those skills are. And you can pay attention to, did I enjoy using these skills or didn't I? And right? you'll be surprised to see what you find. The next question is, is um, outside of winning awards for anything, what are you proudest of? What are your proudest accomplishments? That's going to be a central theme in a lot of the work that you do when trying to define what's right for you or constantly reflect on your career and where you want to take it is always look back at your accomplishments and say, okay, they, they resonate with me for a reason. What's that reason? So really spend time trying to identify it. Now it doesn't have to be an exhausted list of 10 or 15. Sometimes it's just one or two, but it's important to keep track of those. Sometimes it helps to go back to past performance appraisals if you have them, uh, search emails with just saying, you know, what was I told thank you for? Um, or even looking back at your resume and say, what accomplishments do I typically write here? Why do I write them? What is it about it, right? And the final thing is, is what do you find easy that others find challenging? I'll repeat that last question because it's an important one. What do you find easy that others may find challenging? Because that could be your sweet spot. That could, be, that could be an angle that you haven't pursued yet. Or it could be one that possibly, hopefully validates the work that you put in. Because sometimes when we, uh, when we do something for an extended amount of time or a period of time, it becomes easy. And we think that it's easy for everybody, when in all actuality, it isn't. So invest some time in that. All right, everybody, those are the five questions to help you when trying to do some reflection around skills identification. As always, if you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll be uploading content uh, on a regular basis. So please uh, look into your news feeds and see when I drop my next video. Have a great day, everybody. Bye for now.